All right, well, we're live, and we're doing another video of the stuff I've been stockpiling in the basement. I actually added to it since my last uh, video, so there's there's a lot more. As you can see here, I bought this whole tub of, it is, I think it's Sun Valley, yeah, Sun Valley Melmac, and... Uh, and there's enough there I can I can probably just do a variation listing and and do uh, uh, I got turquoise I have pink yellow I don't know if the white does any good or not but the the pink sells the turquoise sells and uh, and we'll see how that how it goes I can do a variation listing with it though and uh, and so it'd just be one listing that'll last I, quite a while probably and just keep trickling money and so that's uh i wanted to show you that quick i'm not going to move it around so i'm going to go back over here to the regular spot here and i'm just gonna something was wrong here that must have got moved a little there we go i hope i'm oh, sorry if that's too too balanced or too whatever that was whatever that word i'm looking for is all right so i'm going to get started here and uh Pull this bag out, and we'll see what's in here. Okay, well this I'd forgotten I got. I paid a buck twenty nine for this. You can see it's a violin bottle, and um, I don't know what they were used for, but it doesn't say Wheaton on the bottom, so it's not it's not a Wheaton bottle. But anyway, so a buck twenty nine. I don't know what I'll get for that. I haven't even thought about it. It'll probably end up at the shop, but I don't think it'll go to eBay. Maybe. Depends. I'll look it up and see. And then uh, this. Old old style. Heilman's old style. I got that. I got that. It was 99 cents. I, I bought that. Well, that attracted my attention at the Goodwill because I, I had a friend of mine. Named, his name was Heilman. And, and uh, he, he passed away, I guess, it's been a couple of years ago now. But... Uh, Look, if you get an infection, folks, go to the doctor before you end up with sepsis and then end up in the ground and leave your family behind. Anyway, so uh, he was an old drinking buddy of mine back in the day. And I knew him before that, before we were, I knew him when we were teenagers. He, he actually was the first one to introduce me to ACDC. I'd never heard ACDC. First ACDC album I heard was uh, Dirty Deeds on Dirt Cheap. And uh, that was my friend, friend Heilman that, that introduced me me to ACDC so and there we go so there's those three Heilman's old style you can look them up I'm pretty sure they they were they were well worth the 99 cents a piece that I paid for them if I remember correctly all right so that's that one what's here what's all this it's in this bag oh it's just these little now don't get me wrong, salt dips are not really are not really that great anymore. Okay, so don't don't go out and buy a bunch of salt dips. Okay, but these were 79 cents each. And they might have even been on sale, I don't know. But they are they are uh American Fostoria. And uh I don't know how well they'll sell, if they'll sell, but I bought them because they're neat and I do have a weakness for clear glass. I, I can't help myself, I just do. And uh, particularly one of the ones I have a, a weakness for is American Fostoria. So anyway, that was that. There's those five. No idea what they're worth. Okay, next. I'm going to have a heyday lit listing when I get all this stuff. I got to run over the shop again today, though. So this great big teddy bear, I don't know, it's a cookie cutter or, or what? It's a huge cookie, I'll tell you that. I've, I've been, I've been, I've been getting back into it a little bit. I, you know, I'm, uh, I just went through some things there for a while and I really needed to, I just, I got behind on, on, on some things and I really needed to get cooking and then, um, I just had some other events going on. The shop has really been consuming a lot of my time and uh, doing things, you know, different things. Right now, I, I put in a new system for uh, for keeping track of sales. And we, we were using a, a paper logbook, which we'd been using for, you know, for 
40 years at that shop. So, um, I switched it over to something called Quail HQ on the laptop. It, it, it keeps track of everything a lot better. People can log into their own accounts online. They don't have to come into the shop and check to see if they sold anything because everybody wants to know if you sold something. So um, it, it's just all around a lot. But I got to train everybody. So And, and they, most of them have been doing really well with it. So uh, it'll take a little bit. I should say all of them have been do, doing really well with it so far. I shouldn't say most of them. So, But I got to pop over there today and do that too. So it's been consuming a lot of my time that and some other things with the shop trying to you know get things going so that's one of the, that's another one of the reasons and i lost my dog and i just didn't feel like doing videos and and you know different things so um yeah so there's a cookie cutter a big cookie cutter my favorite kind of cookie is a big cookie all right and then let's see got some more candle holders candle sticks however you want to whatever you call them nice brass ones this one was a buck ninety nine. I bought these, I think, when they were half off. So, I think I actually got the pair for a buck then. So, because this one didn't have a sticker, so they sold them together, which is odd for good for my goodwill. They don't sell anything together. I mean, pots and pans, nope, separate. You know, sometimes the power cords with the appliances are, are you know separate. So, you know, that's how how it goes. And a book, Foundations of Pentecostal Theology. Uh, some of them sell really cheap, some of them sell really well. It just depends on where you price them at and how long you want to wait, and you know me. All right, and then, and yeah, that was a, I paid a buck for that. I bought it, I think I got it the half off day, and I got this on the half off day. It's a, a Bible story book. I, they take a while to sell, but they, they do sell. They don't take up that much room, they don't eat anything, so... Um, I got it, and I can just add to another one. Something just plinged. I don't know what the pling was, but something plinged. Okay, so I showed you that. I just got done with that. All right, we're going to start with these. I got these yesterday. A whole bunch of these. This one was 99 cents for this. The pattern here is... It's Mikasa whole wheat. Uh, this doesn't say... I don't know what that e buoy thing is, but here's another. There's another piece here. It should have. I think it says Jardinere. This just says whole wheat again. This it's a mug, and uh, seventy nine cents. They're not. They're not like. I mean, they're not like super super good, but um, I just love selling this stuff. So, so this is you know they they. I should do well with them. I should do. If I bought cups and saucers, you know I must be going to do a, Well, I guess you don't know. Nobody knows. But then, yeah, there's there's the four cups. So I got... I think it's... A lot of it's uh, setting for four. But that bowl is the only bowl out of the whole set. That I think. I think that's the only bowl that I got. No chips, no cracks. Really decent stuff. I don't know what this, when this is from. I, I'm going to look it up. But I, I'd be willing to say... Well, I shouldn't say. Made in Japan. Nice stoneware. Um, kind of a... Not a modern type looking thing, anyway. And I'll just throw this in here real quick. I have more of that uh, other stuff. But this is just a fire piece of Fire King uh, Philby. I don't think it says Fire King on it, though. But you know it is. You know, so and it was 79 cents. So I just grabbed it. Put it in the pile of other ones that I have. Yeah, I don't see it on there anywhere. It doesn't say Fire King, but that's what it is. All right. Uh, next. No, oh, I can't get this stuff out. All right. I bought, I bought, this is just false craft. It's just a false craft croc with the number four on it. I paid, I paid six bucks for it. I don't have the lid, but I, I should have a lid around here because I have tons of lids for these things. I always buy the lids when I find them. And so I should be able to find a lid for that. And uh, I, when I take that to the shop, I'm going to probably put like 15 to 20 bucks on it. So, and, and I'm pretty sure it'll sell because they always, they, they, they do. The, those ones just do. So, all right. <clears throat> this is another piece, another piece of false craft. Again, I won't, I won't, I most likely will not sell this online. If I paid four bucks for it, you can see I'll sell it. It's a, this is the salt, the, uh, salt cellar and uh and 
that's gonna you'll go to the shop they, they always sell at the shop they sometimes they take a little while but they always do so uh, that's where that's gonna go all right let's see what we got all right these are just the saucers for that i'm not going to show you each individual saucer but that's the saucers they were they were 79 cents each so all right next Here's one. This one has the. I paid a buck twenty nine for this one. This one has the. You can see the Jardinier, on there. It says Jardinier. If I get my finger out of the way, I don't know why. I think this one. The other ones were plain, so they don't say Jardinier. But this one has flowers on it. So, um, yeah. So that's that. And then, and then there's some of those that are plain that don't have the flowers on them, but they're like the same size. But I'm not going to show you plain plates. You don't really want to see plain plates, I don't think. Alright, and then there was just, there was some big ones. I got the big dinner plates as well, and they were a buck a piece. So, there's four of those. Alright, so that takes care of that. That box was from yesterday. Okay, I'm going to set this up here. Alright, what's this box? This box, oh, okay, this this was somebody came in, into the shop and had, they needed gas money to get them wherever they were going, so uh, I, I, I hooked them up. Um, this box was, well, it's a brass duck. It's a weird kind of looking candle holder, a brass belt, it's just a box of basically brass. This is, I don't think this is brass, it, it's... It's very light. I don't think it's brass. Just a little bell. Nobody likes bells anymore except these ones I can still sell. A little brass bell that probably won't sell. Another brass bell with no, there's no knocker in it. So that one's probably on the scrap pile. I don't know what this is. It's got, it's got, oh, it is a bell. Oh, look at that little tinkler. That's neat. It's a little bell. Oh. Little Dutch girl bell. Well, oh, that's the back of her head. There she is. She's not as pretty as another little tinkler. And uh, here's another one of those. That one will ring you. That's a copper one, or at least copper colored. Anyway, it can't be copper because it's it's copper color on the inside, but but it can't be copper because it's all rusty. All right, this one is silver plate, a little snowman. I think it's silver plate. There's no knocker in it. There's no no dinger in there. It's a little snowman now. He's cute. I wonder what he's broken right there. He's cute. So he's, this just came, this whole box, this is a box of stuff. I think I gave the guy 20 bucks for this box and some other stuff. And the other stuff is what I wanted, so. There's a little dinger. I don't think these little bells... I'll just put a few bucks on them. Maybe a dollar or two on on the little ones that aren't. There's a little brass one that doesn't tinkle very well. Another little tiny little tinkler. There's a Liberty Bell. For some reason, they usually sell pretty good at the shop. And then there's here. There's just a bunch of other little... Here, you can see. Just a bunch of other little bells and... Looks like all bells. There's whatever this is. That's a brass key. It's a key to the city. Any city. Any city you want. So I, I gave him twenty bucks for everything I bought that day, so I think I I should be good. This stuff there's I mean even if I put a buck a piece on. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That sort of bent. I really want to get this up higher. That's a little better, I think. All right. Uh, we'll do a, a yesterday box. This is a yesterday. I got it. I got it yesterday. Out and about. Boot in the boot. Oops. I'm hoping it just break that. That was too cool. This was a cool mug. I just had. I had to have it. It was seventy-nine cents. I just. It's cool. 
Japan. It's just old and cool. And then there's one that goes with it. An old and cool, 79 cents. And uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll sell or not. I, I just bought them because they're cool. I didn't, I just, they're just cool. If they don't sell, well, oh well. And then a couple of little reds, just some red cups. They'll just go in the pile of red stuff. Until red stuff comes back around. Little Fire King lid for a, a refrigerator bowl. Okay, next. Uh, all right, I'll get these. I got a couple of little re review wear lids. I I have a ton of review, review well, not a ton. I have a lot of review wear lids this size. These are a little little different from each other. This one's a little bigger than the other one. But, uh, and what I'm probably going to do is just keep them until I find some of the bigger ones sell faster. A lot of these don't really sell. They don't really sell. Uh, but the big, the larger ones, the, you know, seven, eight, nine inch ones, they do. But sometimes you find them and the, the, the these are all dishwashered off. They're, they're, they're ruined. The lid, the knobs. So I'm going to keep these and then just replace, put them on to the other, other, uh, other lids so yeah that's what i'm gonna do with those okay so and that's just i just have that listing that listing is a variation listing so i just add to it when i get new ones oh and these i i bought these because i'm old they were half off uh dollar 99 so they were a buck a piece and they're haul and haul used to, I used to sell when I first started selling on eBay. It used, used to sell very well. I don't think it does at all anymore, but they're they're really good quality mugs. And uh, I'm going to hold on to them till, till haul comes back around or, or uh, you never know. You just, you never know. So I'll just put them in a box and I'll just hold on to them until they come back around again. Or maybe they are back around. I don't know. And then we got, look, we got Princess House, a little creamer. I think I actually needed that. I'm not positive, but I think I needed that. I think I have the other, another piece. That was 79 cents. And then look, another Pampered Chef bowl for my lot. There we go. Now I have all six. I probably have another one around here too, so I'll have too many. So, all right. So there's that, that. This can go in here. All right, what do we got down in here? Ah. The Fire King. Closed handle measuring cup. Buck 99. It's a little worn, a little, little worn off, not much. I don't know if they're any good or not anymore. I thought they were, but I think I might be wrong. I always take them over to shop and sell them. I'm going to try selling that online. All right. Does anybody know if if these little handheld games are still are still selling on eBay or not? I used to sell them in lots, and I got pretty decent money, but it seemed like the last lot that I had took a long time, and I had to lower the price down. But it's been a while. So if anybody knows if they're selling, you know, just let me know. But, you know, make a comment or something. I just realized my T-shirt's on the inside out. How cool is that? Alright. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I am going up. We're going, but I think I can remember to do the other thing. Let's see. I grabbed some uh, some video VHS tapes the other day. Some video, some WWF tapes or WW, is it F? Yeah, WWF. And uh, I just grabbed a couple more because they were only 50 cents a piece, so, a piece. So if I can get a lot of them, look, Razor Ramon. I don't know that dude. I never seen that Stone Cold dude. I never seen him wrestle. I did like Bret. Bret. I did like Bret Hart when I was a kid. Thought he was cool. Even when he was, even as a heel, I thought he was cool. And I got a Simon game. Simon Sweat. This is fun. You should try it. You should try it. It was a buck. So that's gonna go over the shop. I'm not gonna put. You know, I'll probably put four bucks on it over there and just make a few bucks on it. Don't be greedy. 
couple uh, Jurassic World dinosaurs. Look at this guy. Like his head moves. Look. Look. Move his tail, his head moves. Oh. If you go sideways, his mouth opens up on it. If you move, you gotta move his tail. Tail action there. I don't know what this guy does. I didn't try him. Yep, there's your little head action going on. Cool. Dinosaurs. And this I bought for myself to replace my green one that I broke. I still have the lid from my green one. I'll just use it on this one. So I paid a buck. I did pay a buck twenty nine for that. My green one was missing this this thing anyway. So, and this is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna miss my green one, but I got this one. So that one's gonna go upstairs and get in the wash. And I think get rid of this. All right, next. this thing this is some kind of a i think it's a like a i don't know it's a stand for i don't know if you want to whatever you want to put in in stand but it's a it's a stand and it's, it's metal I, I actually paid five bucks for it you can see so uh, i won't put a lot on it maybe i don't know i'm thinking i don't know i'm thinking i'm gonna put like 12 on it and see what happens maybe 15 should i go more I don't know, 15 sounds good to me. Maybe I'll put 15 on it. We'll go from there. All right, I did buy a, I did buy a plastic file tote. It's just a file tote. I paid three, four bucks for it because um, I can use it, but it also helped me carry stuff out of the Goodwill. So that was a bonus. And it came with the file folders, which, you know, it's more money there that I'm saving by not buying that stuff. All right, next. And this was not yesterday, but not too long ago. It's a birdhouse. Oh, I guess Halloween birdhouse. It's a good time for that to be around. It was in the Halloween stuff at the Goodwill. And I paid I paid three dollars. Paid three bucks for it. So I don't know. Halloween stuff doesn't sell for me that great. Even at Halloween. So um I won't put a lot on it. Just try to make a few bucks on it and go from there. But that's just going to go to the shop. That's not going to go to... I'm not, I'm not going to even think about. All right, this... This I picked up at my neighbor's closet. It's just a bag of little... doodahs and chachi things and... Little critters and... Let's see what's in here. Like, what was it? This was... No, that was actually... Was it at Goodwill? Or was it... Let me see here quick. Uh... Yeah, it was at Goodwill. That's right. It was at Goodwill. So it was 99 cents for this. And uh, I mostly bought it for these little guys. What are they? Okay, they're Geo, Geo Pro or Pro or whatever that is. And I don't know what this is. Playmobil, little house thing for Playmobil. A little bird on it. You never know with some of this, this little stuff. Sometimes this... You you really get surprised with how with what that stuff actually. There's just a snowman, a little girl, a little looks like the frozen chick, don't it? Only with ice skates. But I don't know who I don't know who made her. It's a little fox, little squirrels. I wonder what those are. So there's a dude to go with. Uh, Elsa there. I think this must be Elsa's. Do you think this is... I bet you it's hers. Oh, you gotta take this cape off and put this one on. Yeah, that's the frozen chick for sure. Maybe this is her her little hat thing. She looks stupid with that on, don't she? Yeah, looks kind of dumb with that. It's a little bit big. And there's his cape is in there. I don't know what this deal is. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bunch of little chachis in there. Little toy finger jiggers. I'll have fun researching that. I love researching toys. So we'll see. Set that over there. All right. Next. A pair of shoes. I stopped at Goodwill and they had a half off day. A half off day 
on shoes, just shoes. They're a little scuffed up there, but it says Ugg. I don't know, are they real? I, I don't know how to tell. Ugg on the side there. They look like they're decent. Anyway, they were, uh, they were five ninety nine. Yep, there it is, half off. So I got them for three bucks. So a pair of shoes for three bucks. I think they'll be all right. I think I'll be able to sell them. And then a horse. Is that that's probably the horse from? Is that the horse from Frozen? You think? No, it can't be. Is it was it Frozen that that was in? That horse was in? I don't know. Anyway, it's one of these, I can't pronounce that, S, that Schlieb, or Schleich, or whatever that, S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H, -S uh, and that's why I got it, and th but I paid a buck for that, so I don't know why I do that, but I did, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they cost, and then, oh, a cap gun, that is definitely not going to go on eBay, it's a little cap gun, a little thing. It works. German, worth good money. Well, good. That's I think Tractor Supply sells them. I'm not sure, but yeah, some of that stuff, some of those I know, that's why I bought it, because I knew it was a little bit higher quality, But and I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. You think I'll probably have to lot them up on I, if I got, I think I, I got a cow. I got a cow, too, uh, yesterday, I think. It must be in another box. I love cows. All right, what else did I get here? I got newspaper. Oh, this. This was uh, green, so it was half off. It's Perry County. No, wait. No, it wasn't half off. It was, uh, it was, it was clearance, so it was 40 cent, 39 cents. So 1996 Perry County, that's in Pennsylvania. This one is anyway. And uh, yeah, that's just neat. Well, I guess it's a candle votive, I guess. I don't know. But I'm surprised that didn't that didn't go for that price. I watched, I saw it there for quite a while, and I didn't I didn't pick it up because I just didn't want to. But then clearance it out, and I thought, well, I'll just get it because now it's uber cheap. I have to have it. There's a amber fairy lamp. I forget who made these. Doesn't say on the bottom, but I. I did pay three dollars for it, and uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll I'll look on I'll look on eBay, but it'll probably end up at the shop. I'll look on eBay. There's probably a ton of them on there though, so they're probably they're probably doing the uh, race to the bottom on those, trying to sell them. Which is okay. No problem with people trying to move stuff so they get new stuff and get a little capital back. Used to, but not so much anymore. Of course, they could take longer to do it. And now I got Mickey glass. We got a Mickey Disney World glass for 79 cents. And uh, I usually put, I think, is it 299? I think I put 299 on these at the shop. And uh, they typically go away, although I did just list. I listed, I think, I think I listed one of these on my, my eBay for, uh, for the shop. I think I listed one of them on there because it hadn't sold. I'm not sure where I listed. I don't, I, I, I'm pretty sure I listed one. I just, I'm not sure where I listed it. I'm going to binge listing, uh, listing over there one night. Got a bunch of stuff listed. And... I started selling stuff over there, so I've been, I've sold a few things over there. It's been good. It's been all right. Better than I was thinking. And then a uh, Hess glass, a fire truck. Uh, that, the fire truck, I sh those glasses aren't that great. I mean, I remember back in the day, I used to get good money for these on, on uh, eBay, but 79 cents. And it, I'm sure it's going to end up, it's probably going to end up at the shop. Because they don't. Last I checked, they weren't really selling very great on eBay, so. But they are still collectible, so. All right. And then I grabbed this. It was 99 cents. 
just I have some of the bottoms for those those types of refrigerator dishes. They, they don't sell that great, but they, they will sell eventually. If I get a bunch of them, if I can get a set, I can and then I'll list them on eBay and sell the set. So that's just gonna go over in my other stuff over there when I sort through this. Right now I'm just trying, I have so much that I can't really sort it. Look, I forgot about this. Another Fire King thing. This one was, this one was 99 cents. Another Fire King. This one looks like it's actually in better shape. Cool. Same size. Still has the closed handle on it. It looks like, well, it looks like it's bigger than the other one. Doesn't it look bigger? Or is that just a trick of the eyes? They're both two cups, though. They're both two cups, but this one looks bigger. Huh. I don't know how that works. I would think two cups is two cups is two cups, but maybe in the Fire King world, it's not. So watch your recipes there. Okay, next. Oh, there's an empty bag. Oh, this is more of the stuff that I bought from the dude, uh, the dude that came into the shop needing gas money. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for this. This is more of that stuff. Big old brass plate. I could probably make money just selling the brass. Brass, brass candle holders. These aren't... I think I sold some of these on eBay. They're not that great, though, I don't think. Now, this is actually the box that I wanted. I'll show you why in a little bit. There's also this... Uh, this lan lantern, it's not, I mean, obviously not. Well, it's got a maker mark on the bottom. Sticker. Uh, I don't know what that is, gifted or some junk. Anyway, I'll clean that up. I'll probably just take that over to the shop and I don't, I don't think it's worth, I don't think it's worth much. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to make this go away. All right, and then this was in there. This is the reason why I bought this stuff. Well, not just this. This I don't want. This is a bank. It's a bank. It's a horse bank. Somebody will have that. I I'm probably gonna that right there. I I think I'm gonna start that. I don't think it's really worth that much. It's obviously new. I better look it up. I better look it up and see. But it's obviously new. So. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up before I take it over to the shop. But basically, that's my plan is to take this piece over to the shop. And I, I don't know. It, it depends on what they're selling for online. If they are. It depends on what. I mean, I'd like to say I'm going to put 30 bucks on it. But I'll probably end up putting 10. We'll see. <laughs> Another little piece of brass. And I just sold some of these not too long ago think they actually sold on true gather i'm not positive but there's only one of them in here and it's a brass butterfly and the other ones i had three of them this is uh this is a crab it's a brass crab with a i don't know what is it a door knocker is that what that is is that a door knocker i think it's a door knocker Crazy. That's my. That's what I think it is. Is a door knocker there. There's another another one of these. So I have two of them anyway. And that's cool. Put that in there. I'm gonna put these in this box too. Make them go away. All right. This is a, a candle holder. Hangs on a wall. I'm um, sure that'll tighten down. It's loose, but I'm sure yeah, it'll tighten down. Fix it back up. I don't know if anybody's gonna want that or not, but it's brass, so it has, if nothing else, it has the value in the brass. And then another candle. This is a good. This one will go. Another candlestick that'll go. Oops, in my lot of candlesticks. And then here's what I really wanted. This is what I really want. This is what I paid for right here. Is those, those right there, those right there? That's probably, uh, I'm gonna say twenty to thirty dollars right there, just for those. So that was the main reason I I paid for the listing. 
for I mean for the not listing for the uh, the items that right there was my main deal and then there was also these two this one's a little bent now it's a little bent a little weirder stuff doesn't really like to bend right anyway so there's two of these little trumpet ones and uh, I have a few more of these around, so hopefully I can add them together. And they usually do pretty good, so um, those are going to go as well. That was another, those were another one. So that was the end of that box. I'm going to get rid of that because that box is nasty. All right, and let's see. This is something that you do when you're not thinking. When I was cleaning out the basement there a month or so ago, I found this game, Dealer's Choice. And I looked it up, and it wasn't doing anything, and I sold it. I mean, not sold it. I threw it away. <laughs> I threw it away. And then I was at a Goodwill, and I bought it back. Why did I buy... I mean, this is even a different one. Why did I buy this? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just... That day, I was just throwing stuff out. But I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might donate it. I, I, just, I bought it. It's crazy. All right, and then I grabbed this. It's a Harry Potter. Seen it? You know, I've been selling those. I well, I don't sell this, this that. I take them apart, and I'm just gonna sell basically this one. I'm gonna take these out, the two dice, because I always sell the dice. The the CD, I can I'll sell the CD out of it. These cards, I'm not gonna do anything with. So I'm just gonna get rid of those, and then the tokens. I'll sell, the, I'll sell all four of the tokens. I mean, I, I might, I don't know, I think I might have a listing for them. If I don't, I'll create a new one. I think I'm just going to put them all together and sell them all, all as a lot. Because they don't sell individually anymore. Not like the old days. Let's see, this goes here. This goes here. Nope. This goes here. This goes here. There we go. So, Harry Potter. Harry Potter's seen it too. That's just going to be an addition to an already existing listing. So that won't take much work at all to put that back together. Next. Amazon Women on the Moon VHS tape. It's not real big, but I think I, I think I can get uh, 8 10 bucks for it. I think something like that. I don't remember. I'm going to look it up though again before I list it, obviously. But that's kind of the weird stuff. A zombie shelter outbreak. Zomb zombie outbreak shelter. Yep, there it is. Zombie outbreak shelter. I paid two. I did pay two bucks for it. I'm gonna take over the shop and put ten on it. And then sixty-eight Camaro monogram box. The the box is shot, taped. I forgot. I did open it up at Goodwill though. I don't. You can tape them all day long. I, I don't trust you. So, looks like one of the decals was removed. But it doesn't look like... It was worked a little bit, I think, but not much. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably a $15 to $20 uh, model, even with the box in that shape. So, we'll see. I'm gonna that'll, that'll run at auction. I'll probably start it at $19.99. And I'll run the auction and see what happens. Sing along songs, ding ding. Uh, you can paint with all the colors of the wind. You can own the earth and steal all you alone is earth until. I hope I don't get demonetized for that. Not like I really get anything for monetized stuff anyway. And then I couldn't pass it up. It's a Fenton basket. Uh, what is that? Silver Crest, I think it's called. Fenton basket. I paid 12 bucks for it. Oh, actually. Actually, not. I got it. I got it, and uh, some of this other stuff. I, I picked them all up at the same time, and I used my half off card from there. So I actually got that for six. I don't remember what I what. I, no, the Camaro was Goodwill, but that was from the day that I went to. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, I used my half off card, which I just I just filled it back up again yesterday. So I just I have another one. I spent a bunch of money there yesterday, and uh, but I filled my half half off card up for the next time. So anyway, yep, Fenton, twelve bucks basket. It's neat. It's cool. I'm don't buy them 
if you know if it's you know because i don't think they really sell that great anymore but they might come back around but i got it for six so i'll be good with that and uh it'll go to the shop i'm pretty sure all right pick these up they were let's see they had a dollar 99 on these candelabras there was two of them i got them pretty sure i bought them. did i get them half off Maybe not. I might have paid two bucks a piece for them. They're cool. So, uh, brass. Brass is actually, I think it's doing all right right now. I'm not, I'm not positive. Not positive. All right. And then I showed you these, some of these the other day. I got these at Goodwill. They were $1.99 for that one. $1.99 for that one. There was a couple other ones there that I didn't pick up because... They had stupid prices on them, so I was like, uh, there's no sense in buying those. I can't make any, can't make anything. Which, I mean, obviously, it's not, it's not good responsibility to make sure I make anything, but I can't buy them. And they're gone now, so either they sold them when, when it went to half off and I missed it, or they just sold them. Imagine that. Goodwill selling something. All right, so... There's that, that, what's next? Like this little bag up here. I, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I'll probably run out of battery again. I wonder if I should plug that in. I'm gonna plug it in, because I wanna do this whole thing. I'm, I need to go to the shop today too, but, but I really wanna do this whole thing and get this all out of the way and done. So there, yeah, plug me in, why isn't it working? I don't know. I didn't hear a little pling, so I don't think it's charging. Oh, well. And then this I got, this was uh, $2.99. I think I grabbed it at the Goodwill. Just, I don't know if, it might be an early Fenton. I'm not sure. It's not marked, so it was probably a sticker. But it looks like a Fenton thing, but it's milk glass. Milk glass is, I'm told it's picking up a little bit. So, um, I, it's what I hear. I'm going to clean that up, though. That's nasty. So, it's just a little basket. Maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't. I don't know. Okay, there's that one. All right, next. Next, let's see. I think I'm going to go with uh, this. This box here. Oh, there we go again. Major roll. All right, a couple of, well, see, what did I do that for? This was a set. They're McCoy coffee mugs, brown drip. This, the handle's all screwy on that. They were probably seconds. It's a set, so, set and set. So there must be more pieces that I got at this. I don't remember. I bought some of these. That says five piece, so there must have been five of them, obviously. There's another one. These are different than that one that I hope I bought. Oh, there's another one. There's another one of these. It's a set of four for a buck. So I paid a quarter a piece for them. So I don't really care that one of them's one of them's chunky. I have I have one listing of those I think in my other store, my other my eBay stuff for my. Uh, for the shop. Dang it. All right, there's those again. Again, these are, I think they're just boopy. I don't know. Um, they're not, I don't, they're not Imperial Candlewick, I don't believe. They don't feel like the same quality. So there's the fourth one. So there's all four of those. That one's a good one. So um, at Brown Drip, it is, it is going to come back around again. It is. It always does. I have actually, let's see, is that another one? No, that's a hull, I think. Anyway, I can see, I think I see another one over there. So I have another one here. I have two more at the shop. So hopefully I can get enough to get another set to add to the ones that are at the shop. So 
I'm gonna get these out of the way for now. And that's what a lot of this is. It's just adding, adding up. It's just collecting till you get it, till you get enough to sell in a lot. It doesn't sell that great by themselves, but if you put enough of them together, the people will come and buy them from you. More newspaper. Okay, there's those. There's a set of five of those. That's what I paid for those. I paid a buck for all five. That's at a thrift shop called My Neighbor's Closet in Mansfield, PA. If you're anywhere near there, you should, you should go. Because the prices are cheap. Uh, all right what's what's next oh more princess house it's just my way yep there's another piece of princess house and these are obviously bought at my neighbor's closet there's a under plate, not a saucer, it's true, not a true saucer, it's more of an under plate, maybe for this. I don't know. All right, and then, nope, that's not that's not what I want. Up here, this is just a, a little Fire King custard cup. It's Fire King, it's custom cup, it's a Philby, blue Philby, so I grabbed it. I think that's how you say it, Philby, that's the way it looks. P-H-I-L-B-E, Philby. Oh, there we go again with that shaking stuff. I think that was it. Was this just a 50 cents for that piece, a buck for that piece, and a buck for that piece? So that's Princess House. I just can't help it. I know it's not that great, so don't 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 go saying you should don't go don't go thinking I'm telling you to buy a princess house because I'm not. I'm not telling you to do that. And this is a piece of Fire King uh, gay fad, and <clears throat> that is a slow, slow, slow mover, but it does move. Just had somebody come in and buy every piece. It was in the shop probably a, a month ago, something like that. She bought all of it. So, getting my collection started. I paid, I did not pay, did I pay $4 for that piece? I think this is how I got, I think this is a box of stuff that I got half off. So I, I knew I was getting half off, so I bought, so I paid two bucks for it. And that's the same thing on that princess house. That was all half off too. And those coffee mugs. So instead of four for a dollar, they were the McCoy coffee mugs. They were, they were four for fifty cents, and then this is five, but it was two fifty. So it's Corel Callaway. That's still, I think that's still desirable. I think I think they're still after that. And then this one was also five dollars, but two fifty, and it's another Callaway piece. So that's good. Box over here. Oh. Over there. All right, so that takes. And then this was this was in that lot too. Just a just a vision wear lid. There was a quarter, so but it was half off of that. So and that will just go in the in the pile of lids. Vision wear is not. It's not. I desperately want it to be selling, but it is not. It's just not. All right, and then I got I got these as well. Ugh. I don't know if you'll be able to see this that well. I'll probably have to. I'm gonna take you off the table here and show it to you. Just all these ugly and cups and saucers, but. 
There's what we're looking for. It's Franciscan. It's all Franciscan. They had... What did they have on the box? They had $40 on the box. And I used my half-off card. So there's plates, cups. I'm not going to pull them all out. Plates, cups, saucers. You can look this stuff up. I don't know how to tell you what, what the... What the uh, what the pat what, what the name of the pattern is? I just know it's Franciscan. I think I just looked up green, green Franciscan, and went from there. Which it wasn't an easy thing, but as far as if even doing research can be hard. But so anyway, so I I got it for twenty twenty bucks for the box. So because I got half off, so uh, yeah, that works for me. I just have to find a place to put it. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to grab this at Goodwill. Just a hand repair book. I don't know. They, they t some of them sell, some of them don't. I just grabbed it because it was cheap. And this is uh, nothing. All right. Let's see. Where are we at here? That moves things around a little bit. These were a dollar a piece. I bought these. It's just a bag full of, you guessed it, candle holders. I paid a buck a piece for them. I need to do a listing for those. I do a huge, massive, giant listing for candle holders. Add the ones that I have over here in another listing. Just make a bigger listing and make them go away. All right, next. This was 50 cents. It's pewter and it's just, I'm just gonna put it in a box of scrap. It's just gonna be, I have, I have somewhere I have a box of scrap pewter and I'll just, that's where it's gonna go. In scrap metal. And then I'll put it on eBay and it takes a little while but I usually sell it. So this is some kind of perfume called Poison. But, but, but. No, don't do it, Dave. Don't start. Um, who's a Christian Dior? Yeah, Christian Dior. It's a, it was a, it was ninety nine cents. It's almost full. It smells delicious. I, I, mean, I guess you can't really say delicious. It smells wonderful. It smells beautiful. It smells exotic. All right. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I got this. There was a set of six of these for a buck and a half. Little juice glasses, silver leaf. They're all right. They seem to do okay. I'm just going to leave that there. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Another, another one. So one, two, three, five, six. Okay, those are just good there for now. All right, next. this little jigger and I paid two it says two piece two two bucks but it was part of the half off stuff I spent a lot and it's fire king so I I got it because it's fire even though it's clear I just it's fire king so a piece is probably 50 years old all right there's that newspaper next What's the next treat that I got? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't want to show you just one part. Well, here's one part. This, and I only grabbed this because I realized that I was spending so much money I wanted to use my half-off card. So, I got lid is, the lid is not there. But there was another one of these, so it was part of the two-piece. So I got, actually, I got the two of them. The two of those Fire King things. So that they were a buck a piece and then they're half off of that. So so they're 50 cents a piece. So yeah, I feel kind of like I stole them, even though I love them. Barberware. Barberware lid. I'll just add that to my to my collection. You know that, that top doesn't look that great. That knob. Maybe it'll clean up. Okay. Where's the lid for that?
Well, that's not cool. It's 10 bucks for that and I can't find the lid. Where the heck's the lid for that? Oh, this, I wanted this. I got there too. It's a plate. It was a buck, I got it half off, but it goes with these other plates over here that I already have. And that they sell, they'll, that they actually sell pretty decent. So, um, I was pretty surprised. I had a little run where I found a bunch of different ones. I'm starting to get a little worked up on that lid, where that lid is after that. Because it's, it's only half off, but it's five bucks. But still, I had the lid, it was there, so. Oh yeah, this thing was cool, I picked this up. A little piece of amber glass, a little, little, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, candy dish or, or whatever. But that was neat, so that was, you get two bucks on it, I paid a buck. And that that's cool. All right, I'm gonna put that over here. Where's that lid at? I'm really getting worked up. Next. Ah, oh, blue Ellie Smith Moon and Stars. Ellie Smith Moon and Stars, 75 cents. Half off. And another Ellie Smith. Moon and stars, half off. And that's just one of those little lids. Oh wait, oh there it is. Is that it? Yay, there it is. I got the lid. All right, so, cool. All right, so that makes me happy, I got the lid. Blue Carnival Glass, it's Indiana, that thing. Um, pretty sure it's Indiana Glass. And it probably isn't, well, I don't know, sometimes they're, it depends on how long you want to wait to sell it, I guess. I guess you could put 25, 30 bucks on it if you want and wait, see what happens. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot about these. These were, bought these at Goodwill. Show you in a minute. Oh, that one's chipped. I didn't notice that. These are at Goodwill. Cannon jar lids. They were uh, pink and they were half off. So they were 79 cents half off. And uh, I just bought a bunch of these from some folks at the shop. I paid two bucks a piece for this particular one, this, this particular size. And uh, they were at the shop, two bucks a piece, and I bought six, and I've sold three of them so far for seven nineteen a piece. So um, that works for me. I'd like to get them cheaper, but you know, forty cents is better. But hey, what you gonna do? I'm just gonna put those, put those right there right now. There's too many to grab. I can't. All right, and then there was these were all seventy nine cents, I think. Yep, seventy nine cents. It's a bunch of different anchor hawking ruby red stuff. And I'm just I just pick this I just pick it up. Um, I'm not particularly interested in whether or not it sells right now. I'm mostly just interested in, in gathering it. Gathering it for the great day when somebody says, Hey, this stuff is great. And they put it in on the internet on their blog post or whatever, and all of a sudden people go, you know, they're right, that is great. And then I'm gonna sell them for a million dollars a piece. And then just just one, one of these, just one little Pyrex mug with this red laurel going around the edge. And uh, some of that stuff does really well. I, I, that's just a gathering piece. And look, look, look what I found. Another Pampered Chef custard cup. Now I have too many. 
Anchor Hawking Wexford toothpick. Shot glass, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a toothpick, but shot glass works. Yeah, I always sell those. I don't get a lot from them, but I always sell them. Pyrex, a Pyrex lid. And I do have pieces of Pyrex I can put on, put that on. So that'll go till I find those. All right, there's a box. Empty box. We'll just put that over here. Alright, next. Next. So what are we gonna do next? We're gonna do this. Do this little box. Just a, a a green art glass or blue green. Uh blue art glass vase. These were really good a long time ago and then they got so they weren't worth nothing and you could get them for nothing. I paid two bucks for it on uh It's probably a, it's probably a twelve to twenty dollar piece, online. I'm gonna take it to the shop though. Try to sell it there first. I don't really like eBay's managed payments. To be honest with you, I, you know the stuff. I could actually watch it build up in, in PayPal payments build up, and then I could transfer it all in one big lump. I don't really care for this minute stuff. You know stuff is, and. You know, with, with PayPal, I could transfer it and it would be in my account the next day. It was very fast. And eBay seems to, like maybe it's taken them longer. Maybe in time that'll, that'll work out. But I, I, had, I was forced into, into managed payments. Um, and it's, it, it's, taking, it's taking longer than I'm used to for payments to get into my account. So, granted, I, you know, I would typically wait, I would typically wait until there was, you know, a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars in my PayPal account and then just transfer it. So I still had a waiting period in there, you know, waiting for that to build up. Not very long, because I sell quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not really that excited about the way it seems to be working right now. Money should have been transferred in today, and it's not. Okay, so that's just an empty box now. All right, I picked this up yesterday. Pyrex bowl. It's pretty nice. It was a dollar twenty-nine at Goodwill. Isn't that silly? But it was. So. Uh, I think I have, there's a few scratches on it now that I see. It, and so there's a few, not bad though. I think I have a, a blue one and a green one, smaller ones at the shop. So I'll probably just end up putting them together. We'll see. I'll have to see what that's all about like. All right, there's that. Okay, next. Here. Oh, this was. Look at up. Look up uh, amber glass leaf or leaves. But look up amber glass leaf and tell me what you think. I don't. I don't remember what it is right now, but uh, I know that uh, if they had a dollar ninety nine on it, it was actually. That was half off. That uh, was actually uh, the pre-clearance. And so it's been there a while. I've seen it a couple of times. I don't know why I didn't pick it up because it seems like every time I look up Amber Glass, I see these and they're selling all right. So Okay. So anyway, yep. So that's that. That's a neat piece. And Amber Glass, is, some of it is really is selling pretty decent, so... Okay, next is this, and this, two pieces of Fiesta Ware, little, little sugar, I think it's a sugar bowl, and, uh, um, not a sugar bowl, this is, um, maybe it's a, a fat 
jar. Maybe it's for putting cooking grease in. I don't know if anybody still does that, but it's hard to see on this one because it's oversprayed a lot, but it says Fiesta. I, they're not old. They're not old ones, but they're still collectible, so people still want them. So, All right, so that's those two pieces. Of, yeah, I paid uh, I paid 99 cents for that one and 99 cents for that one. All right, next. Let's get rid of this newspaper here. I'm, I'm willing to do the work here, so don't get me wrong. I'm not telling y'all to buy this stuff. There's a lot of there's a lot of work here. Some of it's not for a lot of money, but I love what I do. So I love what I do. So it isn't necessarily always about the money. So I just love what I do. All right, there's these little metal coasters. They're vintage. I grabbed them. They were half off of that, so 39 cents. So little rose things. There was what, five of them, five of them. And the cow. This is the cow. It's that same Schleich. Is it Schleich or Schleich? Schleich? Is it Sheesh? No, it's, I think it's Schleich. But I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's a cow. It goes with my horse. Speaking of cows, how do you say no to a $2 cow cookie jar? Cow, isn't she cute? With a rooster on top. How about it? How do you say no to that? You gotta have it. So that was two bucks. Okay, next. Ellie Smith, Moon and Stars, satin, satin finish, a lamp fade or lamp shade, and there's some crazy money in the in stuff like this right now. I don't know where it came from, but there's some crazy money on eBay in this stuff. So I'm gonna get that listed for sure. How much was that? I think I paid five bucks for that. Yep, I paid five bucks for that. Okay. I couldn't find one like this. It's like, I guess it's a, a biscuit. A biscuit. Uh, Fortnum, Fortnum and Mason. I paid three dollars. Uh, obviously, it's not old or anything like that, but it's for biscuits. I looked it up to make sure it wasn't broken. They have other pieces that sold pretty good. I didn't find this piece, so I don't know. But uh, I got it because it's cheap and gives me a chance to experiment with something. All right, next. Oh, don't fall. Yeah, so yeah, this was cool. I got that. It's a little decanter. It's just neat. It's amber. The uh, the stopper's kind of kind of getting all. Anyway, it was it was two bucks. Yeah, I just liked it. I don't drink or nothing, but I, I just liked it. So little lion's head, Scrooge lion head. That's odd. Watch me break it. That was in the wrong place. So I want to put that. And eh, no, I've been there. It was probably broken. Anyway, so it's neat. Just neat. That's going to go to the shop. As well. Unless I look it up and it's killing it. But I doubt it. All right, I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I bought nine of these. They are Indiana Glass Colony, I think, and uh, they're milk glass. Uh, there was nine of them, but I paid I, I, I paid up for them uh, for for these glasses. But I have some. I have actually have five at the shop. 
And I think if I had a set of six, then uh, a set of six I could actually sell for okay money. Can't find how much I paid for them yet. Sure. I guess I didn't really pay up that much. I paid four dollars. Set of nine for four dollars. So that's not bad. That's what. That's less than a quarter a piece. So thought I did pay up, but I got them. I've been looking for them for a while. So now I have fourteen of them. I can't really sell that in two equal lots, can I? One of these I think had had some. Like the, there was some black, like, I don't want to see, yeah, right there, there's some black on it right there. I don't know if that'll come off or not. And it's, but yeah, if there's any of them that are, I didn't even look at them to see, see if there was damage. I didn't look at all of them. I look at, I looked at enough of them to know that I could buy them and make money on them. So that was, that was, that's the goal, right? Then I didn't have to spend any more time, any more time on them. Just got them, moved on to the next thing. So there was actually something I bought. It's not, it's not here. I bought some the other day. Where did I put that? I must have another box of stuff around somewhere. It had it had a Tom and Jerry a Tom and Jerry uh, bowl the old old Tom and Jerry the the red Tom and Jerry it was a big Tom and Jerry bowl with a bunch of uh, mugs a bunch of old milk glass mugs I don't know where that's at where did that go. put that I don't know and then I grabbed these they're two bucks glass bake glass bake lug handle uh, chili bowls or whatever they are way not not anywhere near enough chili for me um, they might be just for condiments maybe maybe that's more like it that's enough uh, that'd be that's a lot of ketchup but you could put maybe dips in there or whatever. I don't know what they are. I don't know, but I always sell them. Sometimes they take a while, but they always sell. Okay, well, I'm going to put that there. And I grab these. They're a quarter piece. I just grabbed them just to... Oops, sorry. I just grabbed them just... I ought to... Uh, I use them on my shelves down here to put smalls in and, and, and just to keep things separated so they're not all, all, they don't get all banged up. So that's just what those are for. Okay, next. A couple books, 10 cents a piece, choose your own adventure, and I'll, they just get lotted up. This one is just cool. I'm going to take it to the shop. I paid 10 cents for this, so I mean, it's 10 cents. So it's just cool. And uh, it, it like opens up like backwards, like a storyboard or something. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so, but they don't really sell very great online. They're only like three or four bucks online, but I can take it over the shop and put a couple bucks on it. It's hard to lose money on 10 cents. So I don't need, I don't need to put much on it. All right, got this. It's a clip, clip or a Nerf gun. That was a quarter. So give it a little time. And I got these ET glasses. Be good. Pizza Hut. ET. Oops. ET. ET. Five piece. Five piece, three bucks. Yeah, I don't. I didn't look them up because I know at the shop I'm selling character glasses at the shop anywhere from 
they're selling anywhere from three to seven dollars depending on who wants to have the who wants to have the guts to put a price like seven dollars on them but i just somebody just sold uh they just sold two at the shop they sold two of the old cartoon glasses you know the uh the looney tunes glasses thank you i think they they sold tweety bird and i think it was foghorn leghorn and they got ten dollars a piece for them i couldn't believe it i was like you're kidding me there's four where's the there it is i i, I was just there's the fifth one I'll be right back. Oh, no, I'll be right here. I'll be right here. Be good. Home. Home. All right. So, that. I'm just going to put these up here. Get them out of the way. And then what's this? And I got two two piece two of these. They're a buck a piece. Uh, modern tone hazel atlas. They are not. I don't think they have a hazel atlas mark on them. I don't see one down there. But they are hazel atlas modern tone. Hazel atlas was pretty good at not marking their stuff. So anyway, they just they're just two pieces of modern tone. I just picked them up because I was while well, I was spending money. Couldn't help myself. It's therapeutic to spend money. It's therapeutic. I know I know some rich folks don't know how to spend money. They just keep it. They keep it forever and they buy stocks and bonds with it and and they, and they have their money forever. They need therapy. That's why they all are on drugs. Alright, so this this is uh has a patent number on there. Looks like look like looks like a pair of it's got an old an old an old maker sticker right there. Pretty sure that's a Fenton sticker. It's on there. A little odd, but this is a decent piece. Yeah, I paid two bucks for it. And I think I saw one selling when I bought it. I think I saw one selling for, I want to say 20 or 25 bucks, something like that, when I grabbed it. So that'd be pretty amazing if that's, if that's, if that's the case. Okay, that, that tote's done. In a box. All right. What do we have left? Uh, we have we have these two banana boxes. Two banana boxes full of stuff. These this stuff all came from a, a dealer friend of mine who is 85. He is retiring, and um, he sold me all this stuff for 25 dollars. So the rest of what you're about to see was 25 dollars for everything. This is a uh, it's an old picture of Shirley Temple. Ain't she cute? So, um, I don't know if that's worth anything or not, but it's neat. So, he just shoved that in the, the box of stuff. And he told me to take take these. He goes, take these mirrors. Because cause when you put, put them on your shelves and you put stuff on top of them, it looks really cool. So, I said, okay. So, I took those. All right, and then he, he stuck this in there. I don't know if this is any good. Uh, King, King Research? Barbicide. It's got straws in it. Plastic straws. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Germicide and disinfect disinfectant. I don't know if that's any good or not. Two bucks... Um, I don't think I'm going to leave the plastic straws in there. I'm going to take them out and set them in the sun and let the sun, let the sun break them down naturally over the next 30 years. That's what I'm going to do with those. So, um, I don't know if this is any good or not. He just threw it in a box, so. Okay. I don't know if it's any good. All right, I did throw this in myself because I, I always buy these when they're in good shape anyway. So, wonder, and then I sell them super cheap. But uh, I, I, not super cheap. I sell them for, I don't know, I think I get, if I have a lot of them, I think, if I have like three or four of them, I think I get 10, 12 bucks for them, something like that. 
And then I grab this little, it's a Lefton, a Lefton baby. Little, little, little baby there. You can't see nothing, so it's not really bad. All right. And then we threw this, threw this in there. The Redding Brewing Company, Redding PA. Food, I don't know if that's any good or not. But somebody came in the shop, a kid came in the shop and was buying old weird bottles. And he bought a couple bottles of mine that uh, I didn't think anybody's ever going to buy. But yeah, I only got a buck or two for me, I think. So that's probably about all that's going to be. Uh, I'll put that, I'll, that's what I'll put on it. I don't know. But, you know. Okay, and then, I don't think these pieces go together. This this Pyrex lid with that Pyrex bottom. Oh, no, it's not uh, it's not Pyrex, it's Fire King. So, yeah, they don't go together. This is actually the same bottom as, yeah, this is the same bottom as these ones. Right there. I just don't have that kind of lid for it. That's cool, though. Okay. What else did he throw in there? He threw a bunch of these things in here. Well, if you can see, I don't know what this Japan. They're little. I don't know if they're salt dips or, or or what they are, but they're miniatures and they're they're kind of neat. So this uh, that I don't know what that is. This is a little. I don't know, maybe a, a tiny little bone, bone dish or something. I don't know. Threw this old crock in there. It's an old crock. It's a canning jar. It's an old crock canning jar. Uh, you can see the bottom. He had a ton of. He sold. What did he sell? He sold a. He sold a canning jar lid for just a lid. It was a. It was like this. It was a lid for. It was an old uh, stoneware lid with a screw down top on it. The, the the well the lid the lid was a screw down. It had a. It had a screw. That screwed down onto whatever it was, but. I think he got 300 bucks for that lid. That was, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. But that was his his wife listed it on eBay. They don't listen. They don't listen to. They don't list very much. I think their username is Button Time. If you want to go check them out, Button Time. I don't think she's been listening very much because she's like 85 too. So they're she's tired. They just they just moved. They just cleaned out their house. Kept their buttons though. You want to hear good stories about buttons. They were the ones. They could tell stories. All right. And then I just... These were cheap. So I wasn't going to get them. He just stuck them in the box. So there they are. Um, they got a little wear on the bottoms. No lids for them. So I don't know if they're any good or not. And this corning wire, this, this stuff, the corn flour, I think is being redone, remade. So I don't know if the, if the old stuff's going to hold any value. So anyway, all right, next. Oh, there's another one of them little, little tacks. Oh, oh, no, don't break that, Dave. Here's a little stuff. Here's another one of these little, little jiggers. This is a piece of Lennox. Sometimes it's all right, sometimes it's not. And this is a little, I guess it's a solid dip. It's, it's, uh. Balik. There's a second one, Balik. And then this is this is another another uh Balik piece. Yeah, I don't know if that color variation is supposed to be in that or not. But it's very they're very dainty. So um I don't know what do I do with them other pieces? So I put them over here. This is all part of that stuff I bought for 25 bucks, so. Uh, and I guess he's out of the business. I haven't talked to him in a week, and I, that's, I, it never takes that. It's never a piece of red glass he gave me. He knows I have an affinity for it. 
All right, uh, next. These I did grab. Pyrex, Pyrex lids. I always grab Pyrex lids. No lid left behind. That's the rule, right? Oh, there we go. There goes the mirrors are falling. The mirrors are falling. Falling down on me like rain. All right, next, buttons. He had a couple jars of buttons. He had a buck a piece on them. I'm gonna take them over to the shop, probably. I, I, I have tons of buttons myself, but I don't know anything about them. And if he's selling them for a, for a buck a jar, that's they're probably, that's what they're probably worth. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna just take them over to the shop and probably put five bucks a jar on them. See what happens. Okay, next. Uh, I, I, did, I did grab these. I did grab these two little ruby red juice glasses. Put those over here. All right, and I grabbed this. This piece I grabbed. He had four on it. But another piece of gay fat. It's a little bit worn right there. But like I said about, you know, that's just, that's a hold them thing. You get it, you just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. This is one of these pieces of Lennox, a little piece of Lennox glass. I think those are might be selling online. I'm not sure. Um, I used to sell these all the time, so I, I saw it and I just picked it up. Just a jiggler for a pressure cooker. What's next? Alright, these are little, little cut glass salt and pepper shakers. Looks like they have, they have, uh, I don't think it's sterling, but they are silver plated tops on them, lids on them. And uh, I won't be able to get a lot for those, I don't think. But I wish I knew more about that stuff. They're, they're pretty neat. But there's here's this set. And uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna give them away. I don't think I'm gonna try to get, try to get something for them. I might, I'll, I'll look them up, but there's just so much cut glass online. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's hard. It's just hard to figure that stuff out. And, the, you know, it's just research, though. The more you know, the better off you are. And then these were, he had these sitting over there. They're, they were obviously, they were silver plate. But they're, they're, they're cat heads. They're cat heads for salt and pepper shakers. I don't know what to do with them. I think I'm going to put them... Are they cat heads? I don't know. This this one's a cat. This one's for sure is a cat. That's a cat. This one... That does not look like a cat. That looks like a bulldog or something. Don't it? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. But... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'll probably put those on eBay and let them run at auction and see what happens. Okay, and then he gave me this piece. He told me I needed to take this piece. Uh, oh, I'll just break it now. Picard. It's not Jean-Luc. But it does say Picard on there with a K. Made in USA. Neat. I don't know if it's neat. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it's neat. We'll see. All right. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me today. You know, feel like if you feel like it, feel free to hit the like button. Um, I noticed the folks been coming in and out. We've been here a long time, so uh, more ruby red glass. A little different. That one's got that kind of bottom. That one's a uh, just a rounded bottom.
but I've been picking up a lot of ruby red glass lately, so hopefully something happens in, in the soon enough and uh, everything changes. There's three, there's more, more cups, saucers I could actually use now, I think. I could really use some red saucers. There's that kind of cup. And there's the cup with a base on it. I just can't say no to the red. Well, I can. I can say no if it's not, if it's overpriced for me. I only get it when it's uber cheap. There's a bunch of red. You don't need to see any more red. I'll just get this out of the way. It's all the same stuff now. It's all the same reds. More red, more red. Yep, there's a red. There's a red. This was all right though. Some squared up plates. It's a little, a little use, use, usage on it, not too bad. Gonna first set this over here. Get these out of the way. Here, I'll use one of these plastic things right now. And I was in such a. They, they, I didn't have a lot of time when I stopped at his stopped at his house, and I was in kind of a hurry. So I was just kind of. He was he was just take his stuff, take it, take it. Oh, so, whoa, 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 man! So that's and he just kept he just kept tossing stuff at me. So I had a I had a move. So there's a couple more plates. I kind of forgotten about them. All right, and then. There's this big giant round charger, which I didn't really want because it's heavy, big and heavy, but I took it anyway. There. And then a couple of weighted, weighted brass candle holders. You know what? You know about that? Okay, but they're weighted. I wonder who made them. They were made by. Can you read it? I can't read it. Uh, Gorham. Oh, it's Gorham. Okay. Duh. Gorham giftware. Okay, so... That's something to keep an eye on, whether that's... Whether that's any good these days. Alright, what's in this bag? Oh, yeah. Deal. I won't pass that up. So I, I would have bought that. I would have four bucks. Four bucks for that? I would have had that. Oh, there's a little nipper on it. Yep, there's a little nipper on it. That's why. Yep. That explains it. Okay. So then, box. box out of the way one more box and I think we're done one more box okay now these I was not gonna buy I was not gonna get those I didn't really want those four four of them for eight dollars they are Jeanette j-e-a-n-e-t-t-e -T -T -E, Jeanette uh, iris and herringbone glasses and he said, he, he basically told me, he goes, those are good. Those are good. You need to take them. I said, ah, oh, John, nobody's buying them. Nobody's buying them. And he said, you need to take them. So I said, all right. And I looked them up and I went, oh, I do need to take them. So I think somebody else sold a set of four of them for like 30 bucks or something like that. So I took them. All right, what else? All right, you gave me these old hats. 
I, I'm not I'm not into rap NASCAR, so uh, I don't know. Twenty four, Dale. There's Dale the Intimidator. This is Dale Junior, number eight, and there's a Budweiser, King of Beers. They're all smooshed, and I don't know if anybody's gonna want them. If you all know anything about hats, go feel free to let me know, because I, I don't know anything about the about NASCAR hats if they're any good or or not. All right, then he, he shoved these in. I wasn't gonna take these either. I was gonna leave these for for him to sell to somebody somebody else, but he shoved them in my box. So there's a big old sad iron. So I don't know. They might be good. I don't know. Another one. Another sad iron. They're just smaller ones. Smaller little sad irons. And then little stands for sad irons. So I don't know what to do with them. Probably take them to the shop. I don't know yet. Okay. What did he... Oh, this was... This is a box that had free here on this free table that he had. I got another one of these. And then um, this stuff. Somebody must be home. Singer. A little singer book. And then a bunch of... There's a button holder, which probably isn't worth anything. The fashion discs I can sell... It's missing one, but I can probably sell them for a little bit. This was the big one I wanted was the deluxe was the zig the zigzagger. Well, you know, some of these parts do are I can I sell some of the parts, so alright, so that was that then. Uh, next just a cribbage board. And then he made me take he made me take these with he made me take those a bunch of mirrors. And that's it. We're all done. I'm all caught up. Everything is caught up. Now I can get to work on listing all this stuff. So 98 minutes later, y'all came, you hung out, you watched, you saw. Thank you very much. And I gotta get I gotta get over to the shop and, and get some stuff done. So thank you. Y'all have a great day and uh, keep keep listening. Bye bye. Thanks, Will. I appreciate that.